again. Yeah, great. Well, thank you so much for having me. Uh, again, my name is Katrina. Um, I'm calling from hot and humid Miami, and I'm doing marketing and business development and plum sale. And I'm also SharePoint enthusiast by day. Um, and thank you for wel welcoming me in this community um, and also giving me this, this opportunity to present what we built. Um, so let's do the next slide. So what do we do at Plum Sale? Uh, we specialize in um, document automation, web forms, and in general, enhancing Microsoft 365 and SharePoint environments. Uh, we have been creating solutions for 14 years, and SharePoint has been the cornerstone for many of our products, such as the ticketing system that we'll look at it today, and others like org chart and forms of SharePoint designer. Um, we really value SharePoint's flexibility and it encourages collaboration, uh, gives you the ability to collect all the digital business resources in one place. And today I'm happy to have a chance to present the ticketing system um, that was designed specifically for SharePoint Online. It's called Help Desk. Next slide. And we first launched it almost 10 years ago. Since then, both SharePoint and our Help Desk have gone through quite an evolution. And we did choose um, so why did we choose SharePoint? That's probably the, the main question, right? The undeniable factor is that SharePoint integrates natively with a lot of tools like Outlook, Microsoft Teams, Power Automate, and it has very um, great functionality and familiarity that many users value. And it would be relatively easy to create and manage a small ticketing system using already available built-in SharePoint features. For example, we can use Microsoft Form for ticketing submissions, then add some automation using Power Automate, store tickets, in a SharePoint list and maybe create some internal documentation for reference. And this time of this type of no frill solution will work great for smaller teams. But how can this uh, concept be scaled for teams that need um, to efficiently manage a high volume of tickets with many agents involved? And this is exactly why we um, created this ticketing system. So let's jump to SharePoint. We'll start from the ticket submission uh, side where the user will go in and into the self-service portal and they can um, create a ticket. Um, they can also track existing tickets, both active and solved. Here we go. I don't know, it's a little slow for me, but <laughs> bear with me. And this is um, a widget that you can embed on any SharePoint page. For example, it could be just like a hub in, in our case. Um, so another tab that we have here, and it's a brand new feature that we introduced is uh, Knowledge Base. It's designed to provide more resources for end users, um, like useful articles, FAQ. Um, so the end user can browse it, search it, and maybe they don't even need to create a ticket. So, but let's create a test ticket. For example, we can do need help and Okay, uh, you can also attach files, um, attach images, and we'll click send. And a few words um, about this widget. Um, we use um, SPFX WebPart as a wrapper, and it allows to automatically log in current user into the widget. So as you can see, I'm logged in as myself here, and it looks transparent for the end user, and the widget can also be added to Microsoft Teams. And inside on the back end, it allows to work with tickets and ticket replies in SharePoint list on behalf of the currently logged in user, aka me. Um, so now we can go to the um, SharePoint list to actually the the help desk um, again in SharePoint too. Um, by the way, quick uh, quick mention that um, in this demo, I'm showing it as um, SharePoint based only, so like servicing just internal users. But it you can um, service external users by we have a same widget that can be embedded just on a public website. So just a quick caveat. So let's look at our um, ticket list. As we can see, there's um, quite a few tickets open and we have our new ticket need help right here. Um, so we used SPFX customizers uh, to improve the ticket list look. So we have the status field uh, with um, four different statuses. So new obviously in progress is when uh, agent is working on a ticket. Pending is when we are pending an answer from the requester and solved tickets. 
Um, these field customizers allow us to direct agents' attention to important values. And um, also, I would like to note that since SharePoint customizers are retiring next year, um, and I believe they will be replaced by column formatters, we plan to migrate to full mark format, sorry, <laughs> column formatters as well. And let's look at the SLA policy um, field here. Uh, it is designed to track agents' response time and escalate unresolved tickets. Uh, we can set up multiple SLAs um, on the back end to track tickets' priorities, um, like priority column, status column, and other factors. And each SLA policy can have its own time frame for agent to reply and for the ticket to be resolved, like the total time of the resolution. And SLA field is calculated by help desk change tracking subsystem or webhooks. Um, so when a ticket is created, edited, or a new comment added. And we're also able to use SharePoint site regional settings, uh, the work week section, to determine the SLA. So these are actually uh, specific business um, days and hours. And again, we use the um, SharePoint field customizer to be able to see if a SLA has failed, like in this case. Um, so it's, if it's a green background, it means it's all good. Agent has plenty of time to reply to ticket, and they can see exactly how many hours and minutes. Um, then we have the orange, um, which is which means danger zone, and there's less than 30% time left for the agent to answer the ticket. Um, then we have the red, red background, which means, yes, SLA failed, as I mentioned, and the agent didn't reply on time. And um, you, we also can see um, how many hours have passed since it's failed. Um, another... Um, Another status here will be the pending, which means that, again, we're waiting for a reply from the um, requester. So we just get a uh, pause icon so the SLA is not tracked. And um, also this SLA um, data um, goes into the reports, which is available um, from the ticketing system too. And in general, you can use the default SharePoint uh, list features, such as we can filter the, um, the list, we can sort by particular field, we can add a new view. Um, so also version history, this is all available. So let's open one of the tickets that we have. For example, we can do this one. So let's see. Um, so this, um, this ticket form has been modified using our other product, Forms for SharePoint. And as you can see, it opens as a panel using list view command sets. Um, and in this form, support agents can answer the tickets, review all the answers from the requester. Um, they can also view some uh, or add different statuses, um, add people here, um, define the priority, et cetera. So this all can be done inside um, this ticket. And uh, we have created the Forms for SharePoint tool to add a little bit more functionality to the default forms. So we can close it for now. Another feature that have been added has been added is the search tool. Um, so it is located right here on the top of the list. And if we fill it with query, for example, we can look for password, click enter. And it opens a search panel. Just give it a second. And here we'll be able to look through either a specific help desk site. Um, well, <laughs> if it loads on me, I apologize. It's a little um, slow, might be due to. Okay, here we go. So, as I mentioned, so you can um, specify a particular help desk site or choose uh, all of them, um, as you can create multiple help desks, for example, for different departments, for different teams. Um, so, you can either search in all of them or just one. You can also specify the time. So, for example, if we just search for the past week, we only get two tickets here. <clears throat> Um, sorry, let me have a sip of water. And of course, um, this search honors users' permissions and does not expose data that is not available to a particular agent. Um, and for the ticket search, we use SPFX web part to display search results page and PNP library to request data from different help desk sites, like I mentioned here. So we can close this. Um, another uh, feature is knowledge base, which is available for agents. 
Um, it's similar to the one that we looked at the beginning in the widget. Oh, well, it's not similar. It's the same, <laughs> uh, same knowledge base. But here we have more articles, and they're targeted more to handle certain requests and problems. Um, and essentially, it's a web part with the articles um, stored in a SharePoint articles list. Um, and the search and knowledge base is handled through an application customizer. Um, users can add new articles, edit and reorganize existing ones, and keep all the required information in one place. Um, knowledge base is based on SPFX framework, and it allows to keep all logic and data hosted inside SharePoint, so no backend logic required for this feature. And we have also added the SharePoint agent power, uh, powered by Copilot. Um, so we have installed a couple. So let's switch to the help desk. Um, as you can see, a couple of prompts are already um, visible here. But let's look at settings, edit agent. And in the sources, we have specified the document library where the agent will be pulling the answers from. Um, and in the behavior, as I mentioned, we set up a couple of prompts that um, agents can use, well, <laughs> the users can use. And in the agent instructions, we have also added um, a note um, to get answers only from the documents library and to not put any assumptions in the answers. Um, and I think it's great to mention um, that that the SharePoint agent is great for not just like a search tool, but it can target very specific subsets of documents and can create different, um, different agents um, to answer specific problems. So let's ask it a question. For example, can I use help desk widgets on a public site? Click enter, so it will search um for a little bit and we should get the answer briefly um here we go so we got our answer based on the documents uploaded in the library and we can also ask follow-up questions so um in a nutshell that's uh, the features that i wanted to show how we use the um the spfx framework to build a more complex ticketing solution and i hope it gave you um a general idea what what is possible um and um help desk in general provides a structured and visual experience for both agents and requesters within sharepoint um and as you can see, we fully leveraged SharePoint's built-in features and framework. Um, and we've always we're always excited to see what um, new SharePoint updates, enhancements, and new features are coming, so we can implement them um, inside our products, such as ticketing system and other ones. Um, and thank you so much for for the time given here. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be in the chat, and we'll be happy to answer. Thank you again. Thank you.